water pollution water the say is life and indeed they were right with about 70% of earth's cover being water it undeniably becomes one of our greatest resources as young students we learnt about the various ways to conserve water coming to think of it water is used in almost every important human course and processes it is an important element in both domestic as well as industrial purposes however a closer inspection of our water resources today give us a huge shock any change or modification in the physical chemical and biological properties of water that will have a detrimental consequence in living things is water pollution let us know how water resources are polluted pollution caused by nature lava emitted from volcanic eruption contains toxic gases such as carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide hydrochloric acid hydrogen fluoride carbon dioxide etc which contaminates water now let us know pollutions caused by man made urban development as population has grown so has the demand for housing food and clothes as more cities and towns are developed they have resulted in inadequate sewer collections and treatments landfills as more garbage is produced leakage from sewer lines a small leakage from the sewer lines can contaminate the underground water and make it unfit for the people to drink also when not repaired on time the leaking water can come on the surface and become a breeding ground for the insects and mosquitoes chemical fertilizers and pesticides chemical fertilizers and pesticides are used by the farmers to protect crops from the insects and bacteria however when these chemicals are mixed up with water produce harmful for plants and animals also when it rains the chemicals mixes up with rain water and flow down into the rivers and canals which pose serious damage for aquatic animals radioactive waste nuclear energy is produced using nuclear fission or fusion the element that is used in production of nuclear energy is uranium which is highly toxic the nuclear waste that is produced by radioactive material needs to be disposed of to prevent any nuclear accident industrial waste industries produce huge amount of waste which contains toxic chemicals and pollutants many industries do not have proper waste management system and drain the waste in the fresh water which goes into the rivers canals and later into the sea the toxic chemicals have the capability to change the color of water increase the amount of minerals also known as eutrophication change the temperature of water and pose serious hazard to water organisms accidental oil leakage oil spill poses a huge concern as large amount of oil enters into the sea and does not dissolve with water thereby opens problem for local marine wildlife such as fish birds and sea otters 
if we simply use less chemicals oil and everything else there will be less opportunities for irresponsible humans to further damage our precious water supply